This video will show how to enumerate the products of a two-component reaction within JChem for Excel. The functionality that will be demonstrated requires a license for Chemaxon's reactor in addition to the JChem for Office license. The reactor itself does not need to be installed. We are going to generate a small set of amide products from amines and carboxylic acids. The first thing you need to do is bring in the reactants so you are going to go to the JChem tab and find the import button. Note that the input reactant files can be in a variety of formats including SMILES, the Chemaxon MRV format or SDF format. In the dialog box the reactant file containing amines is selected. The amines will be brought in at the current cell and you do not need a header. Clicking next takes you to the column selection panel. You only want to bring in the structures so the other field is unchecked. Continue with the import. As you can see five amine structures have been added to the spreadsheet. Now add some carboxylic acids. Again go to import and select the file of carboxylic acids. To place these horizontally in the top row, transpose the reactants and again uncheck the Create Header option. After unchecking the ID field, the seven carboxylic acids are imported. The next step is to add the reaction. Use one of the reactions from the Chemaxon Reaction Library, which can be downloaded from the website. The Insert function is used to bring in the generic reaction scheme. To get a better view, double click on the cell and the scheme is visible in the Marvin editor. Note that the first component is a carboxylic acid and the second component is an amine. The order of the reactants will be important in the enumeration step. The numbers indicate the mapping of the atoms to ensure that the products are assembled properly. Now we will insert a function to calculate the products. Clicking on the Insert Function icon brings up a dialog box with lists of functions. The JChem functions are at the bottom of the category list. In the JChem structure category, the JC React product structure function is selected because you want to generate reaction product structures. In the function arguments dialog box, the location of the reaction must be specified and that is in cell A1. The first reactant is a carboxylic acid, so click in the cell with the first acid and the second reactant is an amine. Note that scrolling in the dialog box reveals additional fields for additional reactants, as well as fields for reactivity and selectivity rules. Those fields are not needed for this simple example. Clicking OK closes the function arguments dialog and generates the reaction product structure. To generate the other product structures, let's modify the function using standard Excel notation to anchor some cells. The function arguments dialog is opened and dollar signs are added to both the A and the one to fix the reaction in cell A1. The carboxylic acids are anchored in row 1 and the amines are anchored in column A. As an aside, I'll note that clicking the help on this function link brings up quite a bit of information about using Reactor in JChem for Excel. Closing the dialog box, you can see that the changes have not altered the product. However, now you can drag the formula across and additional products are generated. Dragging the formula down now generates the rest of the products. You have now successfully enumerated a small two component chemical library in JChem for Excel. Thank you for watching. For more tutorial videos and updates from Chemaxon, stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel.